2023 will reject presidential candidate of same religion, Christian of Association of Nigeria wants political parties. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The country's umbrella Christian body gave the warning on Thursday ahead of a 2023 general election, adding that it is against the arrangement and will not accept it either Christian or Christian or Muslim and Muslim. The Christian Association of Nigeria, CAN, has won political parties in the country against choosing presidential and governorship candidates and their only made from the same religion. The country's umbrella Christian body gave the warning on Thursday ahead of the 2023 general election, adding that it is against the arrangement and will not accept it either Christian, Christian or Muslim and Muslim. Khan said such decision would be disastrous and could trigger unnecessary suspicion, acrimony, denial among Nigerians. The organization thereby cautioned the leading political parties in the country against heating up the polity with such arrangement ahead of 2023 general election. A statement from the media aide to Khan President Bayo Oladej indic indicated that a Khan President, Dr. Samson Ayokunle, dropped the position on Thursday when he led Khan management th team on a court service to the Deputy State Senate President, Senator Ovi Omwagege, in his office at the National Assembly Complex, Abuja. Ayakunle said, We would admonish that, concerning 2022 general election, politicians should not hit up the polity in any way, even as the campaign windows are about to be opened. They should rather guard the utterances and actions because there is already tension in the land because of insecurity. Most instructively, we argue, we want to urge you, the politicians on the presidency, we want a situation that a balance of religion will be considered. We neither want Christian Christian ticket, nor Muslim Muslim ticket. Speaking for that, Dr. Ayokunle expressed dissatisfaction and disappointment with the menace of the economic downtown, downtown and its consequences on the polity and called for an enabling environment to caution the effect on the people. The current president further told the lawmaker that the church is troubled about inflation in the land, which, according to him, has sent many people out of business, thus leading to unemployment being at an unimaginable level. He added, While we appreciate the efforts of a legislative assembly in calling the attention of the executive to this, more robust and daring efforts are required to nip these things in the board. A enabling environment should be created for investments and incentives or tax exceptions given to local manufacturers on some good. The Khan president thus applauded the Nigerian government for the wisdom in managing the dreaded COVID-19 pandemic and also warned against forcing the people to take the COVID-19 vaccine. He said, we appreciate the federal government, especially the presidential tax force, on COVID-19 for the way this stubborn virus has been managed. We want to urge the government to continue to encourage Nigerians to take the vaccine, but never to force or coerce people into doing so. Well, I totally understand this, uh, um, where this um, can, uh, um, spokesperson is coming from. Sincerely, I, I totally understand. See... Anything that will foster unity and peace in this country should what people should be about. It is also very suspicious. He's even talking from a place of neutrality. He's not even supporting Christian Christian. He said Christian should not be given, you know, when a Christian is vice, a Christian, I mean, when a Christian is um, president, for instance, a Christian should be vice. And when a governor is, you know, he is against it. He said Christian Muslim. So that nobody will say something fishy is going on. So that there will nobody will feeling like ah, they are sidelining us. Nothing of that nature. That is why we recently recall that um, the organization called Murik, they said that they are not going to allow that they, 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 they prefer a Muslim candidate for the presidency. While somebody is coming to say, <laughs> I keep saying it, Christian, Muslim, whatever, we need somebody that is competent. We need somebody that is a good person, not just a good person to people. I mean, a good person on the inside. Somebody that is very selfless. That is the person Nigeria needs now. Because human nature, human nature itself is selfish. 
Now, for we to get somebody now that is very, very selfless, ah, you need to pass a lot of tests. Criteria need to be met. What have you? What have you done? What office have you occupied before? In that particular office, how have you carried out your duty? Have you been sincere and transparent? Have you used favoritism? Have you um, patronized favoritism over merit? Have you given a position to somebody? Oh, because this person now is my person. You give the position to you, forgetting that it is an, a public office. We do not even need Christian, Muslim. What we need is somebody that is competent. I keep saying somebody that is competent, healthy, and neutral on all grounds. Neutral on religion. Neutral on tribalism. Neutral on ethnicism. Neutral on nepotism, on favoritism. Neutral on every ground. Every teasing that is causing the disunity and destruction of peace in the country. It is when we find somebody that is really neutral. That sincerely, all these things will not matter. Somebody comes in today, the person being a Christian and he does wonderfully well. He is the kind of person that fights against himself. There are times when that selfish, you know, nature in you wants to come up. Ah, let me do this for this. They are my people. Ah, no, 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 no. The people of Nigeria need this as well. When policies that do not favor Nigeria itself or Nigerians are being wanting to sign into bill, you step and say, no, you step up. I am not giving my mandate on this. The people will not benefit. Policies are signed into bill. I mean, law, I mean, bill are signed into law. And, you know, this bill, initially, it is not going to be in the, you know, it is not going to be beneficial. But in the long run, it will be. There are times people call and criticize you. That is why I keep saying, if you cannot handle criticism, it is better you even stay clear of any governmental office or any leadership office at all. So there will be a time where, where people will criticize you for even doing good. Even in, later in the long run, they will not apologize. They will not. So we need somebody with all these capabilities. And of course, the person, the person should be screened. Criteria should be met and some goodies that 